I am aware how every person is born and given these beautiful gifts of beauty and grace, happiness, goodness, and somehow something comes and poisons the possibility. Sometimes it's a choice that we've made to deny who we are, to deny the quality of our own heart, to deny the power and the blessing we can bring into the world. But sometimes we're born into a, a world filled with evil fairies who feel like they would like to make sure nobody else is happy. And it's important to see that somewhere along the line, we chose things to do that are a bit like the evil fairy. Things that are not bringing us happiness, are not allowing us to have the song and dance that is possible. Things that have dampened and put all that goodness and sweetness into a thorny castle. I see that there is some part of you that has a thorny vine across a part of who you are that's not letting your beauty out. And it's not, um, it's not conscious for most people that they're doing that. So to be in a position where you can see because you love them enough to see all the way straight through to the babe, there's more to you than what comes out because so much has been hidden away. And if you think of that, um, angry fairy as part of yourself that has been locked away and been disregarded, you can see that there is sometimes in a person a part of them that is frustrated and limited because it's been in there all along and no one has wanted to see it. No one has been willing to acknowledge that there is a part of you that you put away in some turret that it could have been a glorious fairy bringing another gift. And the gift is actually there, but because it's been locked up and put away for so long, it's forgotten. So it brings a bad wish. It brings turmoil. It brings chaos. Anybody ever have an experience of sabotaging themselves and causing chaos in their life? I have. I'm glad a few of you are raising your hands. I think you all could raise your hands because we've all done it. That's what happens when parts of ourselves are not welcomed by our own hearts. It's also sometimes what, um, what we do to try and get it out and we do it badly. That's not the sabotage part, that's the growing up part. Figuring out how to let it out and know that you're gonna probably trip over your own feet and um, love yourself anyway. I have a very strong memory of being a teenager, and I mean, here I am standing up in front of God and everybody here, you know, weeping publicly, but I was weeping in front of my sisters because this friend of mine was leaving, and boy, did I get mocked and teased for it. And I made a promise to myself, never again. And so here was this big-hearted young girl saying, never again? You know how long it took me to be able to cry again in public? It had to be let out eventually, and I still did it badly sometimes. And what's badly anyway? It's just making other people uncomfortable. I mean, there are times when we do cry inappropriately, I suppose. Making a scene instead of separating ourselves. We don't have to always make a scene. but there is an all of you that I want to. All of me wants all of you. And I'd like to be able to create a safe place and if it's, you know, if it's this thorny castle till you can let it out, let's, let the, let's cut, cut away some of it so it can come out into the beauty of the sun and the rain and the day or the evening, whatever it is so that we can share together the happiness of being ourselves.